You know, normally the kicker for an NFL team not prevailed upon to share his wisdom with the media too much, but today an exception was made. Matt Gay, kicker for the Colts, a historic day in Baltimore, a winning day. If he doesn't make all his kicks, the Colts don't win that game, and so he's named the AFC Special Teams Player of the Week, and we caught up with him today, got to ask some questions. Those are lonely dudes, and they know they make kicks, they win. They miss kicks, they lose. And if you miss enough kicks, you lose your job. So making kicks is really, really important for a family, for a guy, for everybody associated with a kicker. That's a lot of pressure. So we talked to Matt Gay about that today. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, it's just a testament, you know, um, obviously I was able to have the opportunities presented to myself in that game and be able to go through and make them. And credit to these guys, Luke and Rigo, being able to have a seamless operation, snap hold, and those guys up front blocking. And so we're able to help the team get a win, which is awesome. There's so much that goes into making this work that I think the regular fans don't see. Why yeah. does the unit work as well as it does with you guys right now? I think we're just, you know, good friends. We get along off the field, and we spend a lot of time together. And I think uh, just being able to have that and being able to have open conversations about snaps and holds and, hey, I don't like this or like this. And so, and then having guys that are willing to work on it is something special. And so, I mean, you get 1.25 seconds to get that operation done and gone. And so I think it's something that takes a lot of effort and takes a lot of, you know, I don't say I want to say perfection, but it takes a lot of, like, precision to be able to get those things right. Is there an element of perfection, almost kind of an OCD element of it, that you just, everything's got to be right or it doesn't feel right when you guys get out there? A little bit, but, I mean, then you're going to say, like, yeah, guys, that you know, if it's not so great and rigo has got to make them right, and then if that's not great, then i got to make them right. And so there's certain things that you can do um, that everyone, you know, if I miss a kick, it's on me, and certain things that go there, and people are always going to put that – put that on that accountability on themselves but um we got a good group of guys and so it takes a lot of precision a lot of effort and these guys are the best at what they do all five of those kicks were dead center on sunday you <laughs> go back and look at it were you kind of impressed with the precision and 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 how well everything went everything felt good i was in a a good mode that game and everything was feeling good the ball was coming off my foot nice and so sometimes you go get in those modes and you just feel good about it and you're not thinking too much and you just get out there and just go kick the ball if you had some days now after that win what is it like when you have that moment when you kick a game winner like you did outside yeah. in those conditions i mean it's awesome i think those those moments that you get um presented yourself especially as a kicker when it's kind of on that moment to win the game uh to come through um, for your teammates and you know those guys that are out there battling i'm sitting on the bench for 90 percent of the game those guys are out there getting beat up and tackled and hit and so to have that those guys do that and then put it on something like that to go win the game um to be able to come through is, is awesome moment for yourself and to be able to help these guys you know their hard fought sacrifice to get a win you know the colts I'm not saying you didn't deserve it but what they did to get you here yeah and the contract that you had, how rewarding is it though that you can step up and deliver for this team, this city as well last week? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I think uh, being able to come here in free agency and be able to be blessed enough to get the contract I did and um, be fortunate enough for that, but able to, you know, go out there and show, you know, that that's kind of, you know, what I I think of myself and, you know, and just be able to show that and be able to prove that is something cool to, you know, hopefully go out there and earn the next one in a couple of years when it comes. You say you're sitting 90% of the game. I get the sense that you're a fidgety guy. You're always over there kind of warming up, getting ready for a kick, just something. Are you a guy that kind of has a nervous energy during the game almost that, hey, got to be ready, yeah. want to be ready? Uh, no, honestly not. <laughs> I am sitting down, and uh, if we're on offense and Rigo's punting in the net, I'm kind of up there standing by him, but I'm, I find a, a seat where I can, and if we're on defense, I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the bench. Uh, so I'm not fidgeting too much. When we cross the 50, I generally get my helmet on and start kicking in the net just in case the opportunity comes up. But for the most part, up until we cross the 50, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm sitting down, sitting down. Yeah. Did you feel like you were on a roll or are you always on a roll? Are you always confident? Um, I, I definitely like to be, but there's definitely moments when you're more in it than you're not. There's sometimes when you're thinking about certain things. Hey, what yard line we're at? Where's the kick at? Or running on the field, thinking something. There's definitely times like in that game where it was run on the field, kick the ball, and run off. And so there's not much going on in your head. There's not a lot of thinking. And you're, uh, I've mentioned it before in the last couple of days, but that blackout mode where I really like sometimes, like, if you ask me what happens during a kick, I don't remember the ball hitting my foot. I don't remember anything. It's kind of like this weird sensation where the snap comes and you just react. And then the next thing I know, I'm looking up and seeing where the ball's going. And so I don't really remember the ball hitting my foot or anything like that. And when I'm in that, type of mode it's generally going pretty well does prep change mentally or physically when you have all of the 
have oh. all of the oh. Oh. conditions oh. that. Okay. When you have all of the conditions that you had yeah. in Baltimore, I know certain people people kick in Buffalo, people where yeah. conditions are kind of dicey, yeah. prepare a little differently um, than those who might kick yeah. inside or places. So we, I mean, coming into the game, we had the idea of a tropical storm, and so you're hearing all that stuff. I try not to look too much into it because weather changes so much. So I like to wait till I get to the stadium to see what I'm dealing with. Um, and lucky enough, it, it turned out being better than we, what we thought it was. Um, so just getting out there pregame, being able to fill it out, um, seeing what the conditions are, how the field is, if it's, if it's windy. Uh, preparation doesn't, doesn't change too much. Um, still wear the same cleats unless it gets really bad. Or, um, but we had a fortunate day. It was ended up being solid weather for given the circumstances, and so it was it was good. Any sure. matter pride or significance with Justin on the other side, just knowing the kind of player he is and the legacy he has in this league? <laughs> oh no, I mean. I have nothing but respect for every kicker in this league that's willing to go out there and, you know, try and, and do what we do and, you know, be out there on the field when everyone's watching. And so I have nothing but respect for all those guys, and especially Tucker, who's been doing it so efficiently for 10 years now. I mean, arguably one of the greatest of all time. And so the conversation that with him was just, hey, man, you're awesome. I got nothing but respect for you. And it's awesome to see him do what he's done. And it, it kind of makes you want to, you know, chase him and, you know, when other people are doing cool things and they're constantly raising the bar. And so you kind of raise your bar yourself and kind of step up to those moments. And so just being able to, you know, share the field with him is a, a privilege and a pleasure. Is it different this week playing your, your old teammates? Um, not that I think. Um, going into it right now, I mean, how I feel on Wednesday, I think there's no hard feelings or anything. I think I was super blessed to have my time that I did in L.A. and be able to go and win a Super Bowl. And I, I share those memories with a lot of those guys and a lot of that stuff. And so... I'm excited to see those guys and say hi and you know reconnect. But when it comes down to, it, I gotta you know say my say my highs and then say my goodbyes and get to my warm up and you know just try and treat it like a normal game and go about my business. And then go beat them. And then go beat them. And then help this team get some wins. So that's Matt Day and what a day he had on Sunday. And interesting to find out that you know when he kicks, he isn't thinking about it. He just goes and does it. It just like turn off the mind. That's the way I want to play golf. I think kicking a field goal, kicking a football is a lot like playing golf. You stand there, you see the ball, you hit the ball, and you don't think about hitting the ball because if you think about hitting the ball, just like Judge Smales in, in Caddyshack, a thousand bucks, you slice it into the woods. What Smales do? Slices it. That's what he does because he's thinking about it. When you think about things, you tend to do them. If you're afraid of missing, you tend to miss. Matt Gay, all he did was make five field goals on Sunday, four of them from better than 50 yards. Nobody has ever done that in the history of the National Football League. Good to get to know him a little bit.